Colorado is the team who entered the game with the most momentum, having knocked off previously second-ranked Nebraska. But it was Texas who stole the momentum back on the field, holding the Buffaloes on their opening possession, then maintaining that momentum offensively. A 45-yard pickup from Chris Sims to Sloan Thomas helped set up the Longhorns' first score, a five-yard dive from Cedric Benson for an early 7-0 UT lead. Colorado stalled on its next offensive drive as well, but this time their defense found an answer to Sims and the Texas offense. Aaron Killian's interception and 73-yard return set up a Chris Brown 10-yard touchdown run to tie the game at seven. In the second quarter with the Buffs leading 10-7, Sims was again intercepted, this time by Joey Johnson. It was followed by a huge run from Bobby Purify, 51 yards down the right side of the Texas three setting up a Chris Brown touchdown for a 16-7 lead. Texas closed the score to 16-10, but then the Buffs' defense again turned up the heat on Sims as DeAndre Flewellen sacked him and forced a fumble with Matt McChesney recovering. The very next play, Bobby Pesaveno found Dan Graham on the left flat for an easy score, 22-10 Buffalo. With Sims and the Texas offense now thoroughly shaken, Colorado went for a dagger in the heart. Backup safety Medford Moore intercepted just his first pass of his career and got a memorable return. 64 yards and a touchdown to make it a 29 to 10 lead as the Buffalo scored 13 points in just 76 seconds. But the Longhorns offense got an unexpected jump start. An injury to the finger of Sims brought fan favorite Major Applewhite into the game, where he provided an immediate boost. Three man rushing. Major will go deep. He's got Jackson in the foot race for the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! The Longhorns got a major momentum swing as the fiery senior took UT to the intermission, trailing only by 12. Colorado let off the scoring of the third quarter with Chris Brown scoring again, this time from 11 yards out, and the Buffaloes led 36 to 17. That score and PAT kick were seven of just 10 Colorado points in the entire game, which were not a product of a Texas turnover. Texas then used two dusty Mangum field goals to chip away at the Colorado lead, as it was 36-23 midway through the fourth quarter when Texas looked to get the ball back on a CU punt. But coach Gary Barnett went for the jugular, snapping to reserve QB Robert Hodge in an up back slot, who then threw and was picked off by the Horns' Roderick Babers, who returned it for a touchdown. It ignited the Texas faithful and trimmed the Colorado lead to six at 36-30 and bringing new life to the championship game. Colorado's next drive stalled and the punt team was called on and another near disaster occurred. While punter Mark Mariscal got the punt off cleanly on a heavy rush, but Philip Geiger was whistled for roughing the kicker, allowing CU to advance the ball from the Texas 41-yard line to the 26, making for a 43-yard field goal for Jeremy Flores, well within his range, as he hooked it just inside the left upright with under two minutes to play. Texas would later score to make the count 39-37, but Colorado recovered the onside kick and the celebration was on. The Buffaloes won their first outright conference championship since 1990, while the designated home team in the Dr. Pepper championship game remains a perfect 6-0. Back inside the locker room, Dr. Pepper president and COO Jack Kilduff presented the championship trophy. We have a great champion here. We have a team that represents the way it's supposed to be. They did it the way it's supposed to be done. They have a great heart, and there isn't enough you can say about these young guys. They are unbelievable. Let's go roll up and 